Hi everybody, it's Allie. So we are here to talk about thriving through summer and all the things that we can do to stay well and safe as we actually go out and start enjoying the world that we live in. So my name is Allie Phillips and my business is called Manifested Harmony and I am multi-careered as an attorney. I am a former prosecutor. I still teach at criminal justice conferences. I have written several legal books. And then my uh, healing and wellness business, I am certified in three different energy healing modalities as a master teacher. I'm a certified health coach, and I use a whole lot of Young Living essential oils. So this is gonna be a very product-driven class because I didn't wanna keep you too long on a beautiful night, but I wanted to give you what I really love to use. And so I'm not going to talk about anything that could be interpreted as diagnosing, treating, or, or curing, or preventing any disease, but I'm going to tell you what I love to use in the summer and what I've really been testing for many years. And then I'm going to give you some fun recipes. So I think we're all ready for summer. 2020 has frankly been, I think, the most bizarre year in any of our collective histories between the pandemic and then now so much mass protesting and violence happening. It just seems like we can't get a break. And then, you know, for people like me and other healers that I work with, we've been looking at the Earth's frequency that has been spiking that can cause us to feel kind of icky and just frankly not feel good. So I think we're all ready. We are all ready for summer and we're ready to enjoy the time that we have and enjoy some really beautiful weather. So I'm diving right into products, okay? So I want to start with the topic of your face. And these are the products that I love so much for summer. So the first product I want to talk about is the Sheer Lume Face Cream. So typically I use the sandalwood face moisturizer because I tend to have dry skin. Even in the summer, I tend to have dry skin. But in the summer, during the day, I switch over to Sheer Lume because it brightens and it balances skin tone, especially if you get sun patches on your skin or if you get any freckles or dark patches or uneven skin tone. This is an amazing, light, sheer, beautiful, beautiful smelling face moisturizer that helps with damage to your skin. <clears throat> it is protective of your skin. It contains Madonna Lily, which is a brightener for the skin. It contains licorice root, which is balancing. Uh, it contains a natural vitamin C. And there was a study done in Europe with this product that showed significant improvement in the appearance of complexion lightness and the lightness of dark spots. So if you struggle with any sort of sunspots or you know dark patches on your skin, this is a really good one to use and it is so light that it feels really good in the summer, even if you have dry skin and even if you wear makeup over top. Now, the next product is the Savvy Minerals Mattifying Primer. So this I love because there's two primers. There's the hydrating primer, which is amazing in the winter, and then there's the mattifying primer, which I love in the summer. And what it is, is after you put on your Sheer Lume or whatever moisturizer you're using, you put the mattifying primer on. And what it does is it prevents makeup from sweating off your face. I mean, how many times have you, you know, put your makeup on and you look beautiful and you head out the door and the heat and humidity just drain the makeup right off your face. And then by the time you get to where you're going, you look in the rear of your mirror and you think, well, 
that was just a wasted five, 10, 15 minutes of putting makeup on because it's all gone. The mattifying primer stops that from happening. But where I really love it, and I'm gonna be talking about this in the next slide, is when you put sunscreen on your face, it tends to make your face look greasy, right? Put the mattifying primer over the sunscreen and it instantly gets rid of that shiny, greasy sunscreen look. It is amazing. So, you know, when I'm headed outside, because I really don't, I don't want sun on my face at all. When I head outside, I put the sheer Lumega on, I put the sunscreen on, which I'm gonna talk about uh, in the next slide. I put the mattifying primer over it, and then I can put my Savvy Minerals um, mineral foundation. And my face still feels light. It doesn't feel heavy. It is very protected from the sun. Nothing sweats off my skin. Everything stays put and it looks really natural. So that's kind of how I layer on my face. Now, one last thing for your face is to take a look at the Savvy Mineral Lip Glosses because our lip glosses, besides being completely toxin free, they are infused with peppermint oil that gives lips a little plumpness, but that peppermint oil is gonna feel amazing on a hot summer day. And the colors are fabulous for summer. Like even that super bright pink one that's called Headliner, it doesn't look that bright. These are really neutral, beautiful colors that just give you a little splash of color, which is perfect for summer because we, you know, we tend to not want to look too made up, like we have too much stuff on our face. And these lip glosses are amazing. So, like I said at the beginning, if you have any questions, feel free to type them in the chat and I will be happy to answer them. Or we can wait until the end and I can take your questions then. All right, let's go to being in the sun. Okay, so I already talked about sunscreen, how I put the sheer lume on, then the mineral sunscreen lotion, then the mattifying primer, and then I can put my makeup on. And it actually feels very light when I do that. So our sunscreen, we have a SPF 10 and an SPF 50. So when it comes to sunscreen, commercial chemical sunscreens contain hormone disruptors, they can cause allergic reactions. The ingredients can cause, cell, cause cellular damage and can accumulate in your tissues and your organs. And if someone you know, has recently had a baby and they're breastfeeding, the ingredients in sunscreens have been found in mother's milk, which is not good. And the ingredients in commercial chemical sunscreens don't biodegrade. So they're really bad for the environment, which is why some coastal states have started passing laws that certain sunscreens cannot be worn when going in, when going in the water. So Hawaii about, when was this? Maybe two years ago passed a law that if you wanna go in the ocean, you have to wear a sunscreen that is specifically labeled and certified as reef safe. So it is safe for the coral reefs because commercial chemical sunscreens are full of such horrible chemicals that it's killing the coral reefs. So these chemical sunscreens, what in one particular test in California, over 96% of people from Southern California tested positive for an ingredient called oxybenzone, which is a prime ingredient in most commercial chemical sunscreens. And they also found that that oxybenzone is showing up in fish. I know I don't want to eat a fish that has oxybenzone in it. So this is why I love our sunscreen because it is completely free of harmful toxins and chemicals. It's been endorsed by the Skincare Foundation. It is certified as reef safe for the coral reefs. It blocks UVA rays, and those are the rays that cause sunburns and basal cell carcinomas, so you definitely don't want that. 
it blocks UVB rays, and those are the rays that go um, deep into the tissue and cause melanomas. So this gives you both UVA and UVB protection. It's completely plant and mineral derived. It has essential oils that are really nourishing for the skin, like helichrysum, lavender, myrrh, cystus, alang alang, carrot seed. Carrot seed essential oil is a sunscreen all on its own. And it has sacred frankincense. But where the real power in this product is that it has non nano zinc oxide. So zinc oxide is completely natural, totally safe. But many zinc oxide sunscreens have what's called nano zinc oxide, which means you put it on your skin and it gets immediately absorbed into the skin. Well, what's the point of that? Because zinc oxide actually blocks the UVA and the UVB rays. Well, if it is the nano zinc oxide that gets sucked into your skin, it's not gonna do its job. So Young Living uses a non-nano, which means it doesn't go into your skin, it actually sits on top. So I love that. But you're not gonna get that white residue because it rubs in really nice. It'll give you 80 minutes of water and sweat resistance. It's really good for sensitive, kid, uh, sensitive skin and it is totally safe for kids. So that is a must have. And usually in July, it'll go out of stock for a couple of weeks. So if you need a safe sunscreen, I'd certainly get that in your, your shopping cart sooner rather than later. Then the after sun spray, the Lavaderm after sun spray. This is unbelievable. It is a spray lotion. It's not a water-based spray. It is a lotion. And when you spray it on, it will not run. So you can like hold your, the palm of your hand straight up and you can spray it on and it won't drip. It will actually stick to your skin. And it is labeled for providing immediate relief from pain and itching from bug bites, from a sunburn. It prevents peeling of the skin because it's packed with aloe vera and helichrysum and lavender. It's completely vegan. There's no alcohol in it, which is really bad for skin that's been exposed to sun. And it's completely safe for children over the age of two. So in the next screen, I'm actually going to show you right now. So this happened last year. Don't ask me how I do it. I I was getting out of my car at a gas station and somehow there was a big pothole right as I was getting out of my car to fill up my car with gas. And my foot went in it and boom, down I went. So I was actually headed to the beach. So I had my lavaderm with me. So, you know, my knee, you can see on the left, it instantly got red and it started bruising and it was swelling. Oh my gosh, it really, I almost turned around and went back home. So I started spraying the Lavaderm on it and you can see, see how it just sticks to the skin. It wasn't runny. So I thought, okay, I'm not going to give up a day at the beach. I cleared my schedule. I want to go. And the whole time in the car, I am spraying this on my knee like every 15 minutes, I kept spraying it on, rubbing it in, spraying it on, rubbing it in. I got to the beach, I did the same thing. And by the end of the day, which was probably only like six hours later, the photo on the right is what my knee looked like. Isn't that amazing? The red was gone, the bruising was gone, the swelling was going down. It is an amazing product to have no matter what time of year, but to me, it is perfect for summer. It is amazing for sunburns. And because people are out, you know, walking more, it is really good if you fall. And then the third product that is really good when you're out in the sun is the coconut lime uh, lotion. And to me, it is an after sun lotion. So it has seven amazing nourishing carrier oils and butters in it. It has aloe. It has essential oils of lemon myrtle, orange, 
tangerine, grapefruit, lemon, mandarin, and spearmint. So because of those oils, you don't want to wear it in the sun. What I do is at the end of the day, when I've washed off the sunscreen and I've washed off the bug spray, which I'm talking about next, I then put this on my skin and my skin glows and my skin feels nourished and it feels healthy. And I mean, it, it is a healthy sort of feeling and it smells delicious. So whether you're at the beach or not, you're going to feel like you're in the tropics. What I love about this is that there's no added water in it because a lot of lotions have water. Well, water is just going to evaporate. It's not going to nourish your skin. This is really thick and it just feels amazing. So like I said, don't wear it in the sun because it has a lot of essential oils that can cause photosensitivity where you might get a little redness. Those are all the citrus oils. All right, let's go to being outdoors and let's talk about our amazing insect repellent. So for those of you watching live, I'd love for you to type in the chat if you have ever used this insect repellent. Um, oh, going back to the um, question of can Lavaderm be ordered with a quick order? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Lavaderm's been around. You can do a quick order. You can do an essential rewards order. Absolutely. Um, so I'd love to, for you to type in the chat if you have used our insect repellent, because this is one of the most amazing products that Young Living has ever come up with. It is labeled and has been tested to repel mosquitoes, ticks, and fleas. So I am going to talk about it in a little bit when it comes to our pets that go outside, but it repels ticks. You guys, this is huge because I don't think anybody wants to be bitten by a tick, have a tick land on them, and have the worry and possibility of Lyme disease. So most insect repellents are just full of DEET. DEET is a neurotoxin. It is horrible for us, absolutely horrible. This has no DEET. It has no parabens or fillers or phthalates. It has no petrochemicals. It has no animal derived ingredients. It has nothing synthetic, no synthetic preservatives, no synthetic fragrances, and no synthetic colors. It is simply sesame oil, vitamin E, and essential oils. So it's 90% sesame oil and vitamin E, which is amazing for the skin. And the essential oils are citronella, lemongrass, rosemary, geranium, spearmint, thyme, and clove, which are amazing for an insect repellent. It rubs into the skin easily, and it really does not leave a greasy feeling at all. I mean, it's amazing how it works. What I do is I take a glass spray bottle, like a two ounce spray bottle, and I put this insect repellent in it because too many times I've, I've kind of put and dumped too much in my hands. That doesn't happen with a squirt bottle. So I do a couple of squirts in my hand, rub it all over one leg. I do another couple of squirts, rub the other leg. A little goes a long way. It is completely safe to use with children and with pets. You can even use this on small dogs and cats exactly how it is formulated because it is 90% a carrier oil. So for cats, that's what I always recommend. 90% carrier oil, 10% essential oils. This is perfectly formulated. It's like Young Living wanted us to know that we can use this with pets and we can use it with little kids. So don't be worried about doing that. But when, when you think about the ingredients, it's sesame oil, vitamin E, and essential oils. That's it. It is none of the scary stuff that is in commercial chemical insect repellents. We've got to get the word out to everybody about this. And I will tell you, it works. I have fishermen that are using this. I have campers, you know, camping people who use this and swear by it. I have taken it to Lake Michigan during black fly season and it, it's like it sets up a barrier around me and they don't come near me. This is amazing. So 
I cannot recommend this enough. So good, Allison, I'm so glad that you got it. It's, it, it really, it is an amazing, amazing product. Now let's also talk about outdoors. So who takes their diffuser outside? I would highly recommend that you do that. So I, I, um, yeah, Mary, I have, no, it's not, okay, so Mary posted a question, will it repel black flies? It's not labeled for that. However, I will tell you that I have worn it when there were black flies on the beach and I did not have a problem. It's labeled to repel mosquitoes, ticks, and fleas, but it worked great on those flies. So I can personally tell you that. So let's talk about taking your diffuser outside. So I actually just take an extension cord and plug it into an outdoor outlet. And I take my diffuser outside, whether it's during the daytime or during the evening, because it will really work to make sure that you have an enjoyable time and nothing is going to bother you. The oils that I like to use are purification all on its own because it has citronella in it. Or I like to mix citronella with the Kunzia oil or citronella with peppermint and put that in the diffuser. I tend to do a higher concentration because I want it to spread further. And it's amazing. I mean, I've had some people over recently where we sat on my back patio, I pulled out the diffuser and they could not believe that we were fine. So these, these are options that I love and they work great. And if you've never used the Kunzia oil, Kunzia comes from Australia and the Australian name for Kunzia is tick bush, like tick, T-I-C-K. That kind of tells you what it does. So I got a question of how many drops. So, you know, in the lantern diffuser or the desert mist or the dew drop or even the um, owl diffuser, when I'm outside, I tend to double the amount of drops. So I'll do about 10 drops. Normally inside, I only do four to five drops in a diffuser, but I'll do about 10 outside and it works fantastic. And when you put citronella with kunzia or citronella with peppermint, it really smells amazing. All right, let's move to what we drink in the summertime. So how many of you have tried the, the Vitality Drops that are still fairly new? I'm secretly hoping that they come out with more flavors at convention this week. So when these Vitality Drops came out, my first thought was, okay, that's nice. I put oils in my water every day. I'm just gonna keep doing that. But I got them and I tried them because that's what I like to do. I like to try stuff before I recommend them. And oh my word, I am addicted. I actually cannot just put a drop of oil in water and drink it anymore. I mean, I could, but I love the Vitality Drops so much more. I put it in still water, sparkling water. I put it in Ningxia Red. I put it in white wine. I put it in vodka. You can put it in anything. They taste great and they come in two flavors. You can get grapefruit bergamot or lavender lemonade. Now, what I love about these, when you think about these sort of drops that are in the grocery stores, they are full of such artificial colors and preservatives and sweeteners that it completely ruins the whole benefit of water. So our Vitality Drops have nothing artificial, no artificial preservatives, sweeteners, colors, or flavors. There's no sugar. There's a little bit of stevia. There's electrolytes that actually come from the Great Salt Lake in Utah. And when you have electrolytes, it helps you to stay hydrated when you're outside. And then there's the essential oils. And that's it. It's amazing. You just squirt it in your water. And I, I'm a big water drinker, but I'm finding that I'm drinking water more. It tastes so good. It is really amazing. 
So I cannot recommend these Vitality Drops enough. I think, I think they're amazing and they're completely healthy and I love it that they have electrolytes. All right, now let's start talking about traveling. Whether we're hopping in an airplane or we're going on a road trip or we're going camping. I think we've all gotten a little stir crazy and while we may still be a little nervous about traveling, summer is the time to get out. But we need to do it in a safe way and we need to take the oils and the products that we use every day. Too many times I have been contacted by team members who've said, you know, Allie, I'm in the Dominican Republic and I ate something and it's not agreeing with me and I forgot my oils. What do I do? And all I can write back is enjoy your hotel room because that's where you're going to be. You're not going to be able to leave your hotel room. So you want to to take your oils with you. And so I'm gonna talk about um, specific oils to take, and I'm also gonna talk about um, travel size oils to take. But this can be really beneficial, especially if you stress out before you go on a trip or go on vacation, because you're just running around and trying to get everything done, or you're just trying to pack too much. So, what I'm going to talk about are some must-haves that I travel with. And you know I do a lot of travel. Not this year, <laughs> but historically the last 17 years I've had a traveling career. Um, and you don't want to travel without your, your daily oils. All right, so I see a question here. On a trip to Africa, we did a group meditation using the oils that I and another person brought. I was so glad. Oh, Emmy, that's amazing. Thank you for sharing that. And I'm so, yeah, I remember when you went to Africa. I'm so glad you took your oils with you. So on the screen, you see the products that are in Young Living's Bon Voyage Travel Pack. I love this travel pack. You get travel size TSA approved size bottles that you can actually take through security if you don't wanna check your bag. And you get a travel size lavender shampoo, lavender conditioner, Morning Start Shower Gel, Thieves Mouthwash, Thieves Toothpaste, Thieves Dental Floss, Genesis Hand and Body Lotion, Art Light Moisturizer, the Cinnamon Lip Balm, and it comes in the cutest travel bag that actually you can even fit more stuff in. I can usually fit all my Savvy Minerals makeup in there. It is an awesome, awesome travel kit. I cannot recommend it enough. And when the bottle's empty, I keep the bottles and I just keep refilling them. And I probably had this kit four years now and I just keep refilling it. It is amazing. It has saved me such a hassle of trying to find travel size um, containers. So I just love it. It's called the Bon Voyage Travel Pack. All right, let's talk about oils. So if you do get stressed out before you travel, because maybe you're worried about flying, even in normal times, but especially now, or you, know, you, you just worry about a long road trip or just making sure that you packed everything, I highly recommend that you smell these oils liberally as you're packing, as you're flying, and as you're driving. Stress Away will help you get the work done so that you can leave without worry and enjoy your vacation. Valor will help you if you have travel worries. If you're worried about traveling in this you know, pandemic ridden world that we're in, or if you just normally worry about travel, you worry about being in a car, you worry about other crazy drivers, or you just worry about being in a plane, smell your Valor. Get it on you. Um, wear it when you're on the plane. Peace and calming is good for anyone who is with you who likes to say, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> or if you're taking pets, really good to diffuse. That's what peace and calming is for. Present time will let you leave work at work even though we want to get away from work, sometimes it just stays in our mind. 
It will let you leave any worry behind. It will let you leave your to-do list behind and it will put you in the moment of your fun travel. Because how many times have you, let's say you've had a week long vacation and you've spent the first five days trying to relax, trying to forget about work and your to-do list and your life back home. And then just as soon as you relax, it's, it's ready to repack and go back home. Let present time get you there immediately, absolutely immediately. Um, and then the Ula Fun Oil. Now this, when it goes out of stock, is gonna be gone. Young Living is not continuing the Ula Oils. I love the Ula Fun Oil, especially if you cannot remember the last time you had fun. This oil is such a beautiful, fun, feisty sort of blend. It, it just, it smells like fun. It's fun in a bottle. So I'm a big fan of it. I recommend getting it before it goes out of stock forever. Um, but it will allow you to have fun because the journey is part of the fun. And so if you get worried or stressed out about the actual travel, don't let that ruin your vacation. Enjoy getting there, enjoy being there, and enjoy getting home. And that's what a little fun will do. Now, if you're traveling and either you or somebody with you has a tummy that just doesn't like travel, whether it's by air, by train, by bus, by car, Aroma Ease is an amazing blend. It is actually my number one that I go to when tummies just, they're like, hey, I don't want to travel anymore. I'm not feeling that great. I go to Aroma Ease before anything. A good backup is Digize and Peppermint, but I love Aroma Ease and it's smelling it. Not, you can topically apply it on your stomach, but there is something about smelling Aroma Ease that completely eases the digestive system. It is absolutely one of my favorites. Um, Digize is really good for carnival food and rest stop food and fast food. You know, you're eating on the go. You're at the carnival and you get that deep fried Snickers, which by the way, is completely amazing but you will feel it afterward. <laughs> you know, and peppermint, really good for roller coasters if you like to go to the amusement park. Now, if you are going into a stuffy hotel room, a stuffy cabin, a stuffy camper, you got to break out the diffuser. So I really love Feather the Owl diffuser because it has a really big tank inside, but it is small and compact. It is perfect for putting in luggage. No matter how much you've packed, it is small enough and it is powerful enough. So I used to travel with kind of a, a portable, you know, small travel diffuser. I don't do that anymore. I take a full-fledged diffuser. I either take my Desert Mist or I take uh, Feather the Owl. Because when you go into a hotel room, even pre-pandemic, you have no idea what cooties are in there. You, you have no idea what happened in that room. And trust me, you don't want to ask. <laughs> you don't want to know. Get that diffuser going. I like Thieves or Citrus Fresh. I'll even take Christmas Spirit any time of year. I love that oil. Or I'll do the Lavender Lemon Peppermint Trio, which is very fresh. So all of these can really unstuff a stuffy hotel room or a cabin or a camper. And I make sure I keep the diffuser going constantly. So whenever I check into a hotel room or if I go to a cabin, I'm really not much of a camper person, um, but, if, but if I'm going to a place, the first thing I do is I set up the diffuser, I put it on full steam ahead, and then I leave for a couple of hours. So that when I come back, the room has been taken care of. Now to stay clean, this is a big deal now, a big, big, big deal. Now I've always kind of been a fanatic about staying clean on travel, 
because when I travel, I just see cooties everywhere. I just, it, it makes me crazy. But now we are really hyper aware of it. So you need to take your thieves oil with you because you need to put it in the diffuser and have that in your room or your cabin or the camper. Um, take your thieves spray because that is for spraying surfaces. Um, take your um, thieves hand sanitizer with you because between the hand sanitizer and the spray, you can spray tray tables and basically anything that you touch, okay? And they will, they will absolutely protect you and they're small enough that they can smit in a, fit in a really small bag. But I also like to take either the thieves wipes or the seedlings wipes. So if you travel with a dog, you know that dogs walk in stuff that they shouldn't be walking in and their paws will get, frankly, kind of disgusting. The thieves wipes or the seedling wipes are perfect for dog paws. They are perfect for kids that have to get the messiest, gooeyest, gummiest food and candy and get it all over themselves. It's good for you when you just, you want to wash your hands and not use the toxic soap that is in the rest stop. You can use these wipes and they are amazing. They are nourishing and they smell fantastic. And they're real easy to carry. You get in the seedlings wipes. This is the, the newborn baby line of products. You get like 70 wipes. <laughs> it's it's going to last you all summer. And then just two more categories on travel oils. So you want to stay well when you're on the road because there is nothing worse than feeling sick or just getting sick when you're on the road and you're away from home. It is no fun. I remember I was in Ireland and I wasn't feeling well. Thank goodness I had my oils. Um, I remember when I was in Venice, this was before I was in Young Living and I got really sick and had to come home because Venice is a really dirty city. So you wanna take your thieves vitality or your inner defense before you leave. You wanna start building your system. So whenever I get on an airplane, especially if it's a long distance, like international, I start taking inner defense one week before I get on the plane. I take it every day while I'm on travel. And then I take it for a week after travel. You can do the same thing with thieves vitality because the inner defense has thieves in it. So you can do one of the two. Also remember to take your digize with you so that you don't send me a message that says, hey, Allie, I'm in the Dominican Republic and I ate something, but I forgot my oils. And that's where I'll say, enjoy your hotel room because you're not going to be leaving. Take your digize with you because you're going to be eating food that's different than eating at home and your digestive system is going to tell you that it's not happy. And then take your pan away and take your deep relief. The pan away for if you're doing a lot of walking or hiking or climbing, because that'll keep you feeling, keep your muscles and your joints feeling good while you're doing that. But then take your deep relief and use it at night when you go to sleep, because it will go very deep into the muscles and start helping with rejuvenation. So that is, those are my products for staying well. And then for getting good sleep, because you're sleeping in a strange location, and if you typically don't sleep very well when you're in a strange place, you want to take your frankincense, your lavender, valerian, cedarwood, or rutavala. Take any of these and make sure that you are smelling them, putting them in your diffuser, topically applying them so that you can actually get good sleep because if you don't get good sleep you're not going to enjoy your time away you're not going to enjoy summer all right let's get to some recipes so oh emmy yes you put pan away in a small bottle with a roller ball so you can roll it on that is perfect that is such a great way to use pan away i do the same thing i love it 
All right, so I'm gonna give you some recipes and you are welcome to take screenshots, but I'm also gonna send you this recording for those of you here live. So, all right, I'm starting with adult drinks. <laughs> I love these. I, I have so many recipes. I really had a hard time limiting. I could just do an hour long class on recipes. So I love Ningxia Red Sangria. And you take equal parts of Ningxia Red and red wine, mix it together, pour it in a glass, and then you're just gonna top it off with a little sparkling water on top and then add fruit like strawberries and um, orange and lemon and raspberries. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. It tastes so good. Um, then the uh, coconut pineapple mojito. So you see the recipe there. So you got your coconut water, your pineapple juice, some rum, use your Young Living Lime Vitality Oil. Um, you can put a little bit of raw honey in, but you don't have to, unless you like that sweetness. Um, and then just crush up some mint leaves over ice and then just pour it in and it tastes amazing. I am not a mojito person, but this tastes really good. And then one of my favorites is the lemon teeny. Oh, do I love the lemon teeny. It's so easy. Just take lemonade, put vodka in it and put lemon and lime essential oils in, shake it with ice, pour it into a martini glass. It is so good. It is so good and so easy. So here are two other ones. Um, so poolside punch, you're using fruit punch, Sprite, vodka, and a couple drops of citrus fresh vitality oil. So, you know, I didn't think about this until just this moment. Okay, I'm gonna digress for a minute. So way back, oh, I don't even remember when this was, probably in 2000, probably 20 years ago when I was a prosecutor, I was giving a party for the local police department because they were going through a hard time. Kind of like police now, going through a hard time. Everybody's going through a hard time. And I made a drink called the Alley Wakahana. <laughs> And it's, it actually looks just like the poolside punch. It was, it was Hawaiian punch, Sprite, vodka. I didn't have the oils back then. And the hashtag was when you drink enough of the Ali Wakahanas, you actually go home in a police car because somebody's got to drive you home. <laughs> so that is funny. I just had a nice little flashback there. All right, and then you see um, a margarita recipe um, with white tequila, orange liqueur, lime juice, simple syrup, and uh, the lime vitality essential oils. And that's really yummy. Okay, let's get to more kid-friendly drinks, or if you want, um, it's just a non-alcoholic drink. Lavender lemonade is amazing. So of course, you can take the vitality drops the lavender lemonade vitality drops and just squirt that on water. But this tastes amazing. You know, just take water, lemon juice. Um, I like to use stevia. I'm not a real sugar person. Um, I like to use uh, whatever the equivalent is of stevia. Usually it's gonna be like a quarter teaspoon to like a cup of sugar. And then put in your lemon vitality drops and your lavender vitality drops and mix it up. And you might want to tweak the amount of oils, you know, start with less so that you can add more. I tend to change it up every time, but this is so refreshing and it is so easy to make. Sometimes I just buy organic lemonade at the store and just add like four or five drops of lavender vitality and serve it up and it's amazing. It's so easy. Everybody loves it. And then Young Living recently published these two. If you've never gone to Young Living's Pinterest page, oh my word, there is so much stuff on their Pinterest page. I, I could spend all day, every day, just going through all of their recipes. But these two, are really good. The peachy paradise is peach and mint with tangerine vitality. And the tropical twist is pineapple juice with lime vitality. Oh my goodness, they taste so very good. And when you start 
making drinks and you know appetizers and dips and food with the oils you will really notice a difference when you don't drink or eat something with the oils in them the oils add such flavor depth to everything it's amazing all right here is a strawberry smoothie this is really good i love the pure protein complete it comes in vanilla spice and chocolate. So if you take the vanilla spice, some frozen strawberries, a little bit of um, unsweetened nut milk. I mean, you can use regular milk, but I like to use the unsweetened um, almond milk. Um, a little bit of Greek yogurt, some leavened vitality drops, stick it in your Nutribullet. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. And it's so good for you. It tastes like it's not good for you. I mean, seriously, it is so sweet. It is going to satisfy your sweet tooth. But this is one, it, this is such a healthy thing to drink. It is amazing. I cannot rave about this enough. Lemon lime guacamole. Okay, I recently made this. I think I'm going to be making it for the convention watch parties that I'm having. And I love it. And you just smash up some avocados, put a little bit of red onion in, a little bit of Roma tomatoes, a little bit of garlic, and then just like one drop of lemon vitality oil, a drop of lime, and I even put in a drop of cilantro. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It is really so good. So easy to make too. I love making essential oil salad dressing. So this is a grapefruit vinaigrette. I actually made this tonight for my salad. And you take some grapefruit juice and olive oil, a little bit of honey, some of the grapefruit vitality oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. Oh my gosh, it was really good. <laughs> it was really good. You can also do the same thing uh, with Ning Shu Red. And instead of the grapefruit juice, use Ning Shu Red. That's really good. A Ning Shu Red salad dressing, oh, that is really good. All right, citrus coconut popsicles. So um, I love this one too. And you can do the same thing with Ning Shu Red. You can just pour Ning Shu Red in popsicle containers, put it in your freezer and you have Ningxia Red popsicles. Or take the Ningxia Red packets, stick them in the freezer and just eat it directly from the packet when it's frozen. Um, but this one really tastes good. It's, it's full fat coconut milk. You can use orange juice or pineapple juice, a little bit of sweetener like agave. You can use um, stevia. Uh, you can use your lime oil or your citrus fresh and you just blend it all together, pour it in the popsicle mold, put it in the freezer, and then pull it out like 10 minutes later and top it with more juice and then freeze again. If you have kids in your life, they will love this. Absolutely love it. Um, if you make Ning Shred popsicles, dogs love it. And it's totally safe for them. They absolutely love it. Um, sometimes I'll just make little ice cubes, like not a full popsicle. I'll just make Ningxia Red ice cubes. And dogs love it. It's very cooling on a hot summer day. And I should have put a slide on that about the Ningxia Red ice cubes. Because when you take a Ningxia Red ice cube and put it in sparkling water, oh my gosh, that is a treat. It is a treat. It is so easy to make. So this is one of my favorites. I may or may not have made this last night. I love buttered dill popcorn. So you make your popcorn. I use coconut oil. I make it on the stove. I do not use microwave popcorn because there's so many preservatives and icky ingredients. Just buy popcorn, put coconut oil in the pan, turn it on high heat, put a lid on it, boom, you're done. It's awesome. And then I like to melt either butter or coconut oil. And for each teaspoon of butter or coconut oil, put one drop of the dill vitality. It tastes so very good. Or maybe you like margarita popcorn. So here, take your um, coconut oil and pop your popcorn kernels. And then take your coconut oil, put a little lime vitality in and pour it over the popcorn. 
make your margarita with your lime oil. That is a fun, easy summer snack, perfect for sitting on the patio. If you want to make your own outdoor spray, so maybe you don't have the insect repellent, but you've got rosemary, citronella, lemon, and thieves. Here's your recipe to add to a glass spray bottle. So you're going to fill it half and half with distilled water and witch hazel, and then you're going to add 20 drops of each of those oils and shake it up. And you can spray it on your clothing, you can spray it on skin, and it really smells good and it works. You can also take this recipe and I would reduce it way down and do like two drops of each in a diffuser. So you can take those oils and put it in a diffuser and take it outside. And then if you've been outside and, you know, maybe you've, you know, been scratched by branches or you, you know, you stumbled or something bit you or just something happened to your skin and you don't have that lavaderm after sun spray, mix five drops of lavender with five drops of purification and three drops of peppermint and put it in a roller ball. Now you can also add tea tree in it. You can add helichrysum. Helichrysum equals healing. It is amazing. Um, and you can just have a roller ball and just carry it with you. And it's very soothing for the skin and it just really feels amazing. And the peppermint is very cooling. So it feels really good on a really hot summer day. And then this is my beach goddess hair recipe. I love this recipe. So if you like to wear your hair natural, don't want to blow dry it, but you don't want it to get all frizzy and just look, you know, not great. Take a glass spray bottle, fill 20% with aloe juice, not gel, aloe juice that you can drink, that you can buy in the health food store. Put in about a quarter teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt, five pumps of argan oil. Now, if you don't have argan oil, you could use jojoba oil or you could use grapeseed oil. I wouldn't use coconut or almond because it might be a little too greasy. I like argan oil because it's not that greasy, but it'll tame the flyaways. And then I put in six to 10 drops of lavender oil. Sometimes I'll put lemon oil and then fill it with spring water, shake it up, spray it on wet hair and let your hair air dry. Um, the sea salt in it will help if you have any sort of natural curl to your hair, it'll bring it out. It'll really bring it out. Um, yes, Emmy, aloe juices at Whole Foods, absolutely. All right, now with summer comes fireworks. And our pets don't like it. Some kids don't like it. Um, military veterans may not like it. So this is the blend that I love. You can either you know, put this in a diffuser or you can put it in a roller bottle and carry it with you, but it is powerful. And it's pulling out all the powerful calming oils. So it is a blend of lavender, valor. You can use stress away or peace and calming, one or the other, plus patchouli, vetiver, and valerian. And it works, it absolutely works. Um, okay, we got a question here. What carrier oil was added for the bites, the scrapes? Um, I'm trying to think of what slide we're on. Oh, um, I didn't mention a carrier oil. Um, you could do, I like jojoba oil. I'm really moving more towards that than anything. I'm moving away from almond oil and coconut oil. Coconut oil really doesn't have much therapeutic value to it. I really like jojoba oil or grapeseed oil. Great question. All right, and then here are some of my favorite summer diffuser recipes. It comes from a group called the Oily Families, and I have been trying all of these. 
Oh my gosh, I love Orange Dream Sickle. I love it. It is absolutely my favorite on this list. It smells like an orange creamsicle. So um, you can take a screenshot of that, or when you get the recording, you'll be able to um, write those down. So, all right, that's the end. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the recording, um, but let's definitely stay connected. I'm gonna be sharing more on social media. So thanks for joining in.